All right, so all we're going to do is going to set the text of the log dog. So we're going to ABP dot get. Oh, so I guess we need to create another method in our uh, add book panel. So go ahead and go back to your add book panel. And we actually need to get the uh, JTEXT area as well. We need to have access to it. So we call it JTA log. As a matter of fact, let's copy this. Create a getter for that. Public. It's going to be a JTEXT area. It's going to be get text area log dog. Is it the, this is the what we call it? Let's make sure. Yeah, that's what we called it. It's not the log dog, it's just the log, sorry. The log dog is the label. This is the actual text, the JTEXT area. Add that in there now that we have access to it. We're going to uh, use it. So ABP dot get text area log. And then we're going to go ahead and set the text. No, sorry. Add get text area and add the text. Hold on a moment. Ah, yes. <clears throat> we're going to append text. So by calling the append method. We're just going to say, well first we're going to add a new line. I always want to start a new line. We're going to say, uh, we're going to say that our, that our, uh, Oh, and make sure, sorry about that, make sure that this is equivalent to the text field name. So make sure it's equivalent to this. Not the Vim file. I mean, they should be the same, but just in case the user changes the name. And uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, also going to do that, so put that there, and then space is ready, will be added to book. No, sorry. Is ready to be added to the book. Control Shift F. All right, and we're pretty much done with this add vim file to book method. So if we want our application, I mean, we still haven't actually added the Vim file to the actual book, because at this point, we haven't created the book yet. So, but let's actually try it. And now if you click Add File to Book, things happening because, ah, sorry about that. We're actually not done yet. So if if it's not uh, a valid type, so uh, once we're done with the for loop, 
You know what? We're actually just going to return here. Yeah, once we get to this point, we're just going to return. Return means when you're, you're not returning anything, it just returns. It just ends the method. Remember, we're in a method. And all this is doing is say, hey, um, I know you're done with this if loop, if, if statement, if block. And once you're done with the for loop, and it, and it doesn't even matter if you're done with the for loop yet, we're just going to end it right here. We're just going to end this method right here and call it quits. That's what it means. But it, if it didn't go into this if block, that means the method hasn't ended. And it's going to go through this for loop. Once the for loop ends, the for loop ends here, that means that we've checked all of our valid file types and the file name that they put in there is not a valid file type. It does not have a valid file type extension. So what we need to do at this point is add to our log dog. So let's copy this. Yes, also get the text. is not a valid file type. And should we, uh, you know what? We're going to use our log dog to record only the events that actually succeed. So we're actually going to use a, uh, a J option pane for this so you guys can actually see what a J option pane looks like. So I'm going to copy and paste this, replace this. All right. It's not a valid file type. We don't need this new line here because we're using the uh, J option pane. And then uh, Then we're just going to say uh, plus. Let's add in a new line here. Plus invalid. Sorry. The uh, valid file type message. Call a reminder. We're going to create a constant here. So copy this and we're going to de declare a variable up here. And we're going to initialize this valid file type reminder in here. And we're going to set this reminder to valid file types are end with copy that, paste them here. You know what? No. It's better if you just end with dot wav dot mp3. Dot avi dot mp4 dot png dot jpeg. Set it to this string. And actually, we uh, we actually need to add the dots in here. 